The Dogon dwell in the central plateau region of Banyagara. Their knowledge is centuries old, and their priests have been sharing it with chosen individuals only. In the 1920s, French anthropologist Griel and ethnologist Dieterlen visited the tribe and were invited to share their secrets. But one secret stood out. The Dogon claimed that their god Ama came from a specific star in the Sirius constellation, the same place where the ancient Egyptians believed their god Osiris was born. This star, which modern astronomers refer to as Sirius B, the Dogon called Potolo. But what baffles experts is that the star is so far from Earth, it's impossible to see with the naked eye. I was very intrigued by this, by the way. I mean, uh, the Dogons should not have known about the existence of this star. Sirius is the second nearest star from our solar system. It's eight light years away. In fact, it's not even visible with standard telescopes. It was first seen, literally seen, and photographed in the 1970s. Modern science has corroborated that Sirius B does indeed exist. Problem is, the Dogon knew about this before modern science corroborated it. I mean, that's spooky. Measurements taken with the Hubble telescope in 2003 have confirmed that Sirius B is what's known as a white dwarf, or a partially burnt out star with extremely dense mass. Although it is smaller in size than Earth, it's estimated to weigh eight times as much as our sun. But how did the Dogon acquire this ancient knowledge of astronomy that seems to be centuries more advanced than that of modern science? The mystery is, how did this story get passed on down generations? If the story came from a time before astronomers knew there was a companion star to Sirius, which can't be seen with the human eye. This is the Dogon symbol for Sirius. When you move it around, you can see an orbit around the center, marked by Sirius A. Sirius B circles around it, so it is a circular system. This sign is practically an astronomical model that the Dogon could not have invented because only Sirius A is visible. Sirius B and C are invisible. However, their description of the orbit is correct. One assumption is that this god, Namo, who brought them this knowledge, could have been an extraterrestrial intelligence. Since the early 20th century, the tribe has been routinely studied and researched by anthropologists. This has led many modern historians to claim that the Dogon must have learned about astronomy from Westerners. The Dogon mythology is so fluid that when science confirmed something that they might have believed in antiquity, it might have just been sheer coincidence, or it could have been a conflation. That is, they heard, because it's an oral culture and because the, the mythology is so fluid, um, they heard something that someone said about this star in relation to another star, and they just grafted that into their mythology. They grafted that into their religion. And then when some reporter, some subsequent reporter, comes along and says, what do you believe? They say, well, we've thought this for millions of years. When critics suggest that this knowledge was given to them by modern ethnologists, that's simply incorrect because we know that this story goes back hundreds of years earlier than any modern ethnologist ever went there. If it were ever proven that all this information is exactly correct, including the parts that are still being studied by astronomers, this would mean that the Earth had visitors from outer space in prehistoric times. Either they inherited that knowledge, and the question is from where? From a previous civilization, or from some sort of extraterrestrial civilization, or it's a coincidence. In my view, it is not a coincidence. If the Dogon people really possessed this advanced astronomical knowledge, were their legends based on real events?